Hello everyone, my name is Malik Geltrain, um, certified fitness trainer, clinical hypnotherapist, also uh, Japanese Reiki master. Uh, right, today we're going to be dealing uh, with the physical part, aspect of uh, spirit, mind, and body uh, with supplementation. We got a lot of people out there that talk the talk, and we got a lot of people out there that walk the walk. I do a little both, but I do more of um, walking the walk. Now, as you can see on the video, these 22 inch guns I got right here all right that doesn't come from just talking that comes from walking and doing what it takes on a daily basis in order for you to get in shape in order to build muscle and that also goes for my chest and everything kind of bounce them like the rock and everything I mean you're talking about spending two hours a day in the gym five days a week in order for you to get physically fit in shape you know so I'm not the one here just to be talk talking to you about getting in shape I actually do it and besides exercise nutrition one of the biggest things that us uh, fitness some um, individuals bodybuilders or uh, whatever you like to say we like to focus on supplementation um, today we have uh, Steve, uh, Steve Labidas of Age Force he's telling us about a new way to receive supplementation is actually through your uh, skin that's actually more effective than just ingesting it through your mouth now uh, number first thing we're gonna learn tonight is about this new way of uh, taking products through your skin and why we do it and also you're gonna get a general education of the different supplementations that bodybuilders and also fitness enthusiasts use in order to achieve maximum performance tonight on health awareness talk Hello everyone. Again, my name is Malik L. Train, host of Health Awareness Talk. Uh, I'm a certified fitness trainer and also a fitness enthusiast. Um, as you can see, uh, today our topic is going to be on age force, uh, taking supplementation uh, through your skin and just how effective that that is. Um, for today, we have uh, Mr. Steve Labidas um, with Age Force. Hey Steve, how you doing? Hey Malik, good. Good to be with you. How you doing? Oh, just fine. Thank you. Now, you see, the whole reason I got you on tonight, I mean, taking supplementation through your mouth is good. I get some results uh, pretty good with that. But tell me, just how much better results will I get from using a thermal, uh, using a dermal patch than just ingesting it? Well, uh, you know, first, uh, uh, Malik, with your permission, a little background about our company. Okay. Uh, uh, the first transdermal patch, putting a little, uh, you know, adhesive patch on uh, your skin uh, uh, to deliver uh, the medication, uh, was approved around uh, 1988, and that was for a motion sickness patch, you know, mm -hmm. to address uh, motion sickness. Uh, that was the first patch approved by the FDA here in the United States. Uh, and, and, and from that point onward, uh, around uh, 19, uh, uh, in the 1990s, you started to see uh, some transdermal patches come on the market. One a patch that uh, I think your audience would uh, uh, recognize would be the nicotine patch. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, it was one of the first uh, real uh, mass market patches that uh, came on stream. Mm -hmm. uh, Myself and uh, a bunch of scientists here in the States, we started really paying attention to the uh, 
with the transdermal patch technology, which was basically led by uh, 3M. 3M is the company that uh, most people recognize as the leader in uh, developing patches to deliver uh, uh, prescriptive and non-prescriptive uh, medications. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, with, uh, we started a company in 1999 called Age Force. Actually, the company's called Phase Four Pharmaceutical, but the brand name is Age Force. Uh, to uh, and our company was formed to develop uh, transdermal patches that would deliver dietary supplements uh, through the skin into the bloodstream uh, 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 with time release transdermal patches. Uh, and the reason that we uh, uh, we did this is because uh, taking supplements orally. Obviously, people have been taking the swallowing pills and capsules and mixing powdered drinks, uh, you know, for a hundred year, hundred plus years, uh, and that's fine. That's all well and good. But uh, there, uh, today's science, there is a better way to do it. Uh, when you, uh, uh, when you, uh, uh, let me give you an example. Uh, uh, when you swallow a dietary supplement, let's take, uh, you know. Uh, vitamin B, uh, uh, B complex vitamins, or, or, or Q10, or uh, any supplement you can think of. When you swallow that supplement, the first thing that happens is that supplement, that formula, will sit in the stomach for uh, anywhere from a half hour to uh, an hour and a half, bathed in very, very powerful digestive acid. And that digestive acid, to a degree, will degrade the formula that you've swallowed, the supplement you would you swallow. Then it travels through the intestines and you've got bacteria in your intestines, gut bacteria, which are very healthy for you, but that gut bacteria further, further degrades uh, the formula that you've swallowed. Finally, you've got the liver, what we call liver first pass. The liver is the gatekeeper to, to the bloodstream. Anything that gets into your bloodstream has to pass through your liver. And uh, the liver metabolizes and blocks a tremendous amount of, uh, of things from entering your bloodstream to keep you healthy. And uh, certain dietary supplements just don't get past the liver. And for a dietary supplement to give benefit, it has to get into your bloodstream. Mm-hmm. So, you know, therein lies the, uh, the challenge. Uh, we know that certain dietary supplements that you swallow, whether it be for fitness or for health or for both, uh, only a small percentage of the formula gets into your bloodstream because of digestive acid in the stomach, gut bacteria, and liver first pass uh, metabolizing that uh, that formula, and it just uh, doesn't get into your bloodstream, or a small percentage gets into your bloodstream. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, uh, that, uh, so the, the challenge is how do you get a good dietary supplement into your bloodstream work and work its magic. And the answer, uh, big as life, the answer is transdermal patch delivery. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's exactly what we do. We take uh, dietary supplements. I think our company has 19 at this point. We take dietary supplements. Uh, we formulate them, our own formulas, uh, put them on transdermal patches, and uh, when you apply a patch to your skin, the body heat of your skin activates the patch immediately, and over six, seven, eight hours, that formula goes through the skin into the tiny blood capillaries uh, 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 right within your skin and under your skin, the dermal, we call it, and on into the circulatory system. So with a transdermal patch, you get anywhere from 90 to 100% of the formula into the bloodstream. You're bypassing the digestive system. You're bypassing the, uh, the intestines. You're bypassing the uh, the first pass liver functions, and it's going directly into your bloodstream. So it's the most efficient way to get the supplements into your bloodstream. Other than a shot. Uh, other than an injection, that is correct. And and there is actually uh, there are some there is a benefit to transdermal patches versus an injection. An injection goes into your system immediately mm-hmm. okay where a patch well, our patches are all eight hour time release patches mm-hmm. but the 
formula is going in over eight hours, which gives your body ample time to metabolize and take advantage of the nutrients in the uh, in the uh, formula. Right. So it's spaced out equally throughout a six to eight hour period of time. So you constantly have it in your system where it can be used instead of just at one big time and then get dumped out the system, right? Right, exactly, exactly. Uh, it, it's, uh, uh, in injections are certainly very, a very efficient way to get uh, uh, either medication or dietary supplements, but uh, with injections, uh, it, boom, it's in your system at, at the whole dosage with, uh, with the patch, it's spread out spread out over eight hours, which in many instances is more uh, it's a much more beneficial way to get it. The yeah. body can metabolize the nutrients uh, over time as opposed to uh, you know, being overloaded right away. That's true, because the body, even if it is directly into your bloodstream, your, own, your body can only metabolize a certain amount of the supplementation at a time, correct? That is correct. That is correct. And that's why the eight-hour time release function of the patch uh, and it's an approximate eight hours. You know, this isn't a mm -hmm. computer. The mm -hmm. patches. Mm -hmm. It's an approximate eight hours. It could be six, seven, eight hours, uh, and and that's why it's such an efficient way to deliver the uh, uh, the formula. Plenty of time for your body to metabolize and take advantage of uh, the nutrients in the formula. Yes, and then also it's kind of like taking a mini injection every hour, every thirty minutes. The patch. It's kind of like getting a little mini injection, you know, a continual injection. Well, yeah, it, it, again, it's over eight hours. It, it, the second you put that patch on, body heat activates it, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, the formula begins to uh, uh, migrate from the patch through the skin into the, uh, the the circulatory system, and it does so on a pretty even basis over uh, over eight hours. Super. Now they say the three places on our body that uh, you want the patches is on the wrist, the inside of the thigh, and to the left or at the bottom of the navel. Right. There, there. You can put uh, um, you can put the patch on anywhere, but there are three what we would call optimum locations because, and that's because in these locations that you just mentioned, there there is a, uh, a concentration of small blood capillaries, and that would be inside your wrist where you would feel for somebody's pulse. Uh, the upper forearm, the inside of the upper forearm, where uh, people typically have blood tests, and uh, uh, on the stomach, about an inch or two below your navel, to the left or right, as far out as a hip bone. Okay. What about beneath the navel? No. Uh, yeah, about an inch or two below the navel. Okay. Just want to make sure. Just want to make yeah, sure. Yeah, an inch, or two, an inch or two below the navel, left or right, makes no difference as far out as the hip bone along that line. Okay, well, anything above our navel? Uh, it's, that's fine. That's fine. The okay. differences are minute. I'm, when we say the three optimum locations, we're just talking just tiny percentages. Uh, you never know. In other know. words, you, you, could, you could put a patch on your shoulder, uh -huh. uh, you know, uh, various places, and, and, and it still works fine. All These right. are just places where the op what we call optimal locations. Where the blood vessels are actually closest to the skin in order to absorb the supplement. That is correct. Okay. So if I wanted to place it behind my knee, that would also be just as effective. That would be fine. Uh, another thing that uh, Malik for uh, putting on a patch, uh, and this is just a lifestyle suggestion. A lot of people don't want to have to do it. Even though the patch is small, it's like a postage stamp, a little mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. band-aid post size postage stamp. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people don't want to deal with it during the day. And we have uh, customers around the world that put seven, eight, nine patches on at one time. You know, buying, you know, different products from us. Uh, we don't, we suggest, and it's only a lifestyle suggestion, put the patch on before you go to sleep, take it off in the morning. Don't okay. even have to deal with it during the day. Okay. Uh, or after dinner, take it and take it off in the morning because comes the, the eight hours, that patch is just a band-aid. There's no formula. Okay, well, let's say I take the patch, okay? Let's say a person takes my blood, uh, blood, uh, test and uh, for the CQ10 and um, omega-3 that you got okay and mm -hmm, right now right. very low levels of um, uh, CQ10 and um, um, omega-3 and uh, eight hours later or well, let's say even one hour later okay they take a um, they take a measurement again of my CQ10 and my omega-3s how much would my blood levels actually raise by that time yeah, that that's a hard question to answer. Uh, uh, 
And probably after one hour, there wouldn't be much difference because after one hour, only about one eighth of the formula mm -hmm. has has gotten into the bloodstream. Okay, let's uh, try the whole eight. Yeah. You know, so, but uh, and the other the other the other uh, variable is uh, what somebody's Q10 levels or what their uh, omega three uh, uh, levels were uh, mm -hmm. before they started the supplementation. Mm -hmm. See, well, with with this with the particular patch that you're talking about, we recommend one patch every day. Okay. Not, not that, that's a cycle that we don't have. For some patches, we don't have that one, one a day cycle. It depends on the, uh, on the supplement. But with, uh, if somebody has, has uh, uh, someone who is low with uh, Q10 mm -hmm. or uh, omega-3 uh, with a baseline blood test, mm -hmm. uh, they would start to see elevation the first day. Okay, Steve. Now, if they continue to take the supplement every day, eventually their Q10 and omega-3 levels would get to uh, within normal range. Okay, so Steve, somebody out there wants to test the age force uh, via blood test. Uh, what supplement would you recommend um, that they'd actually uh, to take and then go back to the doctor at a little point to see um, just how high? Um, uh, they, they, you can do that with any supplement. In other words, uh, if somebody uh, wants to start using our products, Take a baseline blood test, there you go. Uh, where, which is a full-spectrum baseline blood test mm -hmm. where they test for just a whole host of things, uh, see where your levels are, and then uh, uh, after a month or so, uh, using uh, uh, one of our supplements, uh, you know, take another blood test and see uh, you know, what has and what hasn't changed. Okay, so on average, you want a, a person should uh, take the, um, before they retake that blood test, you want them to take the product for at least uh, 30 days, correct? Uh, yeah, uh, thirty days is is is, is typical because uh, you know again one the thing one of the things that we don't know Malik and we have no uh, and we have no uh, control over is, is if somebody has some physical mm -hmm. situation that is keeping them from uh, uh, normal levels of, uh, of of a particular uh, nutrient. You know we we don't know that. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, moving on. You know, is there anything that could block? Um, the patch from working. Mm, the the uh, once in a while, when it comes to any dietary supplement, are you, are you familiar with the term non-responder? Yes. Okay. There, there are non-responders out there, and 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 a person can be a non-responder for a host of reasons, but. Typically, they're, they're physical. Somebody has a physical situation, whether it be with their thyroid mm -hmm. or uh, uh, or what have you, uh, uh, that uh, where they cannot uh, either manufacture or they cannot retain some nutrients. Right. Uh, so there, there are going to be uh, uh, non-responders. Uh, typically, uh, in, in in dietary supplements. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, about five percent, about five okay. out of a hundred well, people. Yeah, that's not really what I mean. It's like uh, some of us like to put on lotion, grease, other cosmetics and stuff like on our skin and things. Well, could that grease, the lotion, anything actually block us from absor absorbing the um, supplement? Uh, the instruction, yes, the instructions uh, on any transdermal patch, whether it be a medical patch or a, a dietary supplement patch, are to wash the area. Mm -hmm. uh, it mm -hmm. doesn't have to be a uh, you know a whole production; just a little soap and water wash the area that gets uh, some of the uh, the surface uh, uh, oils uh, uh, out of the skin, and it makes for a better contact and a better trans uh, transition of the uh, formula. Okay. Uh, Steve, could you tell us a little bit more about yourself personally, about how you got into the research and stuff? Well, I'm a, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a business guy, <laughs> and uh, uh, all my life I've been in, uh, in various businesses, and uh, uh, I was approached in, uh, in uh, the mid-90s by a, a team of uh, scientists uh, that were uh, looking to start a company. Mm -hmm. uh, to take advantage of transdermal uh, uh, delivery of dietary supplements. Mm -hmm. uh, they uh, gave me their business plan. They told me why uh, uh, delivering dietary supplements is a, uh, is a, uh, a far superior uh, uh, method of getting the uh, dietary supplements into somebody's bloodstream. And uh, uh, I thought they had a great, uh, a great concept. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. We funded it. Mm -hmm. And uh, today, uh, the company has uh, 
laboratories uh, uh, and research facilities uh, in the United States. And that, that's a very important thing, Malik. About being Our company US. does mm-hmm. not import anything. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So you have total uh, we quality control. Only, everything we do is in the United States. If we don't make it ourselves, we deal with the United States FDA certified laboratories for, mm-hmm. for uh, uh, formula ingredients that we don't make ourselves. Uh, but at, we pay more money. I'll be mm-hmm. very frank with your audience. It, it, it is much more expensive to uh, deal with dietary supplements and to, uh, to manufacture them uh, here in the United States. But that's the only way we know of to ensure the kind of quality. Our company is fanatical about quality. Okay. And uh, you just cannot believe uh, uh, some of the, uh, the things that we test that uh, you know people overseas, uh, whether it be in the Orient, India, Mexico, whatever, uh, you know, they're, they're sending us stuff, uh, quotations for us to buy from them. And mm-hmm. uh, uh, we, ju- we just, we see some of the quality and we just say, no, we're just going to continue mm-hmm. to uh, uh, do everything in the United States uh, uh, without question. So and now that, that's the way we ensure that we're going to get pharmaceutical quality and that our customers are going to get uh, Super. Before we dive into this, um, is this in any way dangerous? Can you overdose? Uh, no, nothing that we do uh, would fall into that category. Certainly, uh, you know, too much of uh, something is uh, is an issue. Uh, but uh, the dietary supplements that we offer, uh, none of them are dangerous. They're all healthy. They're great for fitness and for health. Uh, and uh, uh, none of them uh, have, uh, you know, overdose uh, uh, negativity associated with so them. So I could overdose on pills, but I couldn't overdose on your patches. Well, uh, you, you, the, the, the human, uh, the body is great. The body has defense mechanisms. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, with uh, with uh, whether it be patches or with, or with dietary supplements, if you take too much, basically your, your system just going to flush it out of your urine. Well, that's nice to know. All right, let's go ahead and dig into the meat of this thing. We're going to go over with your first product called HGH Power Patch Injection Strength. Well, what is HGH, and what do you mean by injection strength? Okay, well, you know, human growth hormone. A lot of people have heard about it. You know, it's uh, it's got a lot of uh, publicity over the years with athletes. Uh, uh, HGH, whatever, uh, uh, human growth hormone. Uh, way back when, interesting, uh, the only way to get human growth hormone uh, up until about uh, 1990 was they harvested it from cadavers, mm-hmm. from the pituitary mm-hmm. glands of dead people. That's the way wow. they got human growth hormone. Wow. And cu- coming, from, coming from the pituitary glands of dead people, it, it, it certainly always carried the risk of infection from the host cadaver and, and what have you. Mm-hmm. But uh, in, the, in the 90s, as genetic engineering, as the, uh, the science of genetic uh, engineering uh, evolved, uh, uh, today, uh, back then in the 90s and, and today, all human growth hormone. The human is a misnomer. It's not human. It's, it's genetically en- It's genetically engineered. Hello. Uh, so today, human uh, growth hormone is genetically engineered from a plant uh, protein. It's identical to human growth hormone that's produced in your pituitary gland in mm-hmm. every week. Hello, can you hear me, sir? <laughs> okay, uh, as far as we know right now, HGH is the body's ability to be able to heal itself. Uh, we produce HGH when we are asleep. Our body, our pituitary gland, releases it, and everything that is injured, everything that needs to be rebuilt, those HGH chemicals are just like little builders. They go around throughout your body and build everything back up again after we tear them down. Let's say that you had a muscle issue and that got tore down. That HGH it would go down and it would build everything back up. Let's say that if you had a tendon that snapped, that HGH would go and start to build that up. 
Of course, I'm just waiting for Steve to get back on the telephone again. But um, that's what HGH is just so important for that type of thing to just to be happening, you know. So we got over here about the Power Patch HGH patch. And a lot of you out there, you take that HGH, you swallow the HGH, but you're not getting the HGH. Well, and this HGH actually comes from plant-based, therefore it's going to be okay for you. Just take the patch. And by taking the patch through your skin, you will automatically have the HGH go through your system just the way that you want it. Now, my question to Steve, whenever we do get him back on air again, my question is to Steve, if you take the patch and put it on top of injury, would it be just as good as you put it on anywhere else? And I'm pretty sure a lot of you out there, out there on radio and listening to my... Um, watching the video out there would like to know that because that's what really what interests me can you take by putting the patches on top of an injury will it actually increase or enhance the body's ability to be able to heal it in that area hmm because I know when I take it through my mouth and it goes directly to my stomach it goes through everywhere so if I put it on a point of my body that's hurt will it take the supplements and everything that's needed directly from the patch and begin to heal it a lot faster so if you got your problem, if your uh, leg cramping all the time, maybe you put some type of amino acid or something on top of it and it'll help with that. Or maybe you put some other supplement um, a patch on top of whatever you have cramps and stuff. Because we got a lot of football players, we got a lot of athletes and stuff out there who catch cramps all the time. So we throw a patch on there, whatever Steve suggests, and the next thing you know, you may not have cramps anymore. Okay, Steve, you back on the air yet? Yeah, we went back. We're back, Malik. Sorry about that. I don't know what happened. It happens. It's uh, beautiful. Uh, and anyway, we, we were talking about HGH and uh, uh, what, what, when you're uh, a teenager, your, your pituitary gland's making as much H. It's, it's maxed out. It's at 100%. Mm -hmm. But as you get older, you know, it starts to slow up, slow up, and uh, you lose about 10% of your HGH production every 10 years. So uh, HGA supplementation is as you get a little, as you start getting into your thirties is, is a terrific uh, supplementation. Okay, when I take one of these HGH patches and um, slap it across my tendon or ligament or whatever, where I've recently where a person has hurt it and stuff like that, will it accelerate the healing in that particular area versus say just putting it on? Uh, no, no, it will not. And there we go, uh, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but but you 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 you, you mentioned the main reason athletes use HGH. HGH has a, a tremendous amount of uh, has a tremendous amount of benefits for mm -hmm, improved mm -hmm. cardiovascular endurance. It helps you burn body fat. Uh, it speeds recovery time. Uh, it will uh, if you, you're a little bit older, it'll restore skin elastic, elasticity. And about uh, ten percent of the people it restores uh, hair color. Believe it or not. Uh, it's great for women for uh, who are menopause or perimenopause. Uh, uh, it it'll increase libido. It, it just does a host of things. But the main reason athletes you uh, do HGH supplementation is to speed the healing process. Right. Big time. Big time. You've got to pull more, but you you put this patch on. And, and keep in mind, it's going into your general blood your your your, your bloodstream which is going all over your body. Mm -hmm. uh, but what it does, HGH, if you've got a pulled muscle, you've got a, 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 a pulled ten, a tor torn ligaments, mm -hmm. uh, uh, it speeds the healing process. Any kind of uh, what we call tissue injury, it speeds the healing process. Mm -hmm. uh, if, you, if you have surgery on your shoulders, your knees, your elbows, uh, post-operative, it gets you back in the game quicker. Pure and simple. Okay, so how does HGH uh, develop stronger tendons and ligaments and help with the repair on that? Uh, I don't, you know, to be very honest with you, Billy, I don't know the 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 uh, uh, the scientific ways that it goes about doing. It. Keep in mind, I'm a, I'm a business guy. I'm not. <laughs> I hear you. But, I hear you. But, I so I don't want to give you information that uh, okay. you know, is bad information. But uh, uh, human growth hormone. Bottom line, speeds any kind of injury, recovery, uh, tissue injury, and gets, gets athletes back in the game or back in the gym. Quickly. Right. So that, with that's the, patches, the main reason they use it. With the patches, not only do we get the HGH while we're sleeping at night because uh, we get deeper levels of um, uh, sleep, 
But when we wake up, if we want to keep on with that uh, HGH, um, it was HGH production. Only thing we need to do is then slap it on, uh, slap it on our wrist, the one of the locations, and our body will still continually have that HGH to keep on rebuilding um, whatever's wrong, whatever needs to be repaired. Right, Steve? That that is co- that is correct. Okay. And uh, and uh, again, it is just. Uh, it, it's the number one selling patch in our company, and for good reason. The, the, right. the, the benefits are just uh, wonderful. Now, the, 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 there is one benefit to HGH that the jury is still out, but mm-hmm. uh, uh, there's a lot of science behind it, and that is anti-aging and longevity. Right. A lot of people feel. A lot of people feel that uh, they can they can maintain their levels of HGH, which naturally, as you get older, get lower. Mm-hmm. If with supplementation, they can maintain levels that. Uh, it's going to add years to their lives. All right. Now, we can't just take HGH in order to help to build everything. Don't we need some type of food to assist with that HGH? Or nutrients to help to assist with that HGH? Or does the HGH is all you need? Um, look, look you, you certainly want to have a well-balanced diet and a well-balanced supplement program. Mm-hmm. Uh, HGH, uh, you know, in of itself is terrific, but uh, there, are, there are other ways to... Uh, uh, you know, uh, to uh, uh, broaden your, uh, uh, make your, make your, your fitness program or your health, uh, health and wellness program uh, more effective. HGH by itself is great, but uh, there are plenty of other uh, things that you can do to uh, uh, to make it make it better. Okay, that's super. Let's go on. So we know that HGH is recovery. Uh, we're going to do it to the combo now, which is yeah. test. I have a question for you. We have a um, listener who just came in late to the show. Yes. And can you briefly explain what exactly HGH is? Okay, they want to know what it, well. Hey, Steve. Yes. Uh, we just had a listener just calling. They want to know what is HGH. HGH, human growth hormone. It's, it's called the the mother, It's called the master hormone. It's a hormone, pure and simple, that is produced by the uh, pituitary gland, uh, uh, and during and it's uh, and it's natural uh, it's naturally produced by the pituitary gland and released during deep sleep cycles uh, the pituitary gland manufactures HGH and uh, releases it into your bloodstream during deep sleep cycles uh, when you're young the pituitary gland is making a lot of HGH as you get older everybody's pituitary gland the production of HGH is reduced. And the, the rule of thumb is it's reduced by 10% every few years. So you get uh, you get to be 40, 50 years old, you may be making half of the HGH. Sure, your pituitary gland is making half of the HGH when you're a teenager. In other you words... Maxed out when you're Max out when you're a teenager, but it, it, it continues to slow up over the years. Right. In other words, Steve, that explains a lot of our aches and pains because we don't repair ourselves like we used to, right? That, that is correct. That is correct. Super, because I know that you got to be leaving in about an hour. Let's go on to the combo. Now we have HDH, and we have you going to the next one, which is testosterone of the muscle builder. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Uh, what exactly sure. it is? And, and here you, you're dealing uh, you're dealing uh, primarily with with your male audience, uh, where testosterone becomes an issue, and and. and Testosterone is, is manufactured and uh, uh, by the testes, by somebody's testes. They, they, they're the factory that manufactures testosterone. And when you are uh, uh, going into your growth years, you're, you're, you're uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 years old, uh, your testosterone production is flying. Mm-hmm. Okay? Uh, but again, as you get older, testosterone production naturally decreases. Uh, so, uh, you know, you start getting, uh, into middle age, uh, and, uh, your testosterone levels, your natural testosterone levels, or T levels, we call them, reduce. It's natural. It, 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 it's not, doesn't mean you're not, uh, healthy. It's just that as you get older, your T levels, uh, uh, become lower. Mm-hmm. Uh, what we have is a natural, our patch is a natural testosterone booster. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What this patch is doing, it's got a formula with uh, seven or eight things in the formula, and what it's doing is little by little, day by day, it's stimulating one's testes 
to elevate your natural testosterone production. There is no testosterone in our patch. That's okay, a, that's gotcha. That's a prescriptive medication. Gotcha. So there is no pro, there is no testosterone. It is a testosterone booster. It is not. No, it's a, yeah. exactly yes. right. And little by little, day by day, uh, the formula is stimulating one's testes it's, uh, to to produce more of your own natural testosterone. Super. And, you know, testosterone in a man, uh, there are a number of benefits. You get your testosterone levels up, your libido, sexual performance, uh, energy increases, uh, anabolic hormone levels uh, increase. Uh, it helps you build uh, lean muscle, mm -hmm. uh, muscle tissues if you're working out with free weights or machines. Uh, lowers your risk of uh, heart disease, mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. more energy, fitness, stamina. Uh, it's uh, uh, it, it's a, it, higher T levels uh, just uh, uh, deliver a, a host of uh, fitness and wellness benefits to uh, to somebody, and becomes really important as you uh, as you get older. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I definitely can see that. We take testosterone in order to make us stronger, um, in order that we can lift more weights, run faster, etc., and have a better sex drive, right? That is correct. All right, that's super. Um, going on to the next one, and a lot of ladies out there, uh, you know, this is the one that they'll probably be liking. It's the fat burning weight loss patch. Okay. Oh. All right. This 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 is this is a great patch and. Uh, there are, I'm sure, Malik, there are a lot of skeptics out there. Everybody, oh, no, another weight loss supplement, you mm -hmm, know. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, this one has some real science behind it. Uh, we, it is, uh, we introduced this patch about a year and a half ago, and the way it's uh, going, it's, it's soon going to become our number one selling patch. Uh, and that's just because of viral. People telling other people, hey, how did you lose that weight? I lost it with the patch. Uh, it, it's, this is a, a, a patch that has uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine, seven, uh, eight or nine ingredients, and it's designed to do one thing and one thing only, and that's to burn body fat. Wow! And it does it without making it does it without making you hyper. Mm -hmm. Doesn't make you jittery. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not speeding you up and making you hyper like uh, you know some diet pills do. You don't think that's healthy. This is just uh, peptides and things in this formula that, that help you burn body fat. Uh, and uh, uh, one of the uh, interesting things about this formula is it also helps you keep new body fat from being stored. So it, uh, it, it helps you maintain the weight loss that... Uh, uh, that the fat helped, that the uh, patch brings about, and I think the, one of the most super uh, things about the patches, especially what comes to weight loss, is no more upset stomach. No, absolutely not. Of course, we're, we're, with every one of our patches, we have but people that uh, uh, Malik that have uh, uh, you know, a lot of people uh, with creatine or with uh, uh, some of these other supplements. Uh, they've got uh, you know. B, B complex supplements, they have digestive issues. Mm -hmm. we're, we're totally bypassing the stomach. The, the whole digestive system has nothing to do with the digestive system. It's going right into your bloodstream. Yeah, that's the same reason I like the, this particular patch. Is it also has a new hoodia, which is what African warriors use in order to suppress their appetite when they're... Um, exactly. And who, now, he, here's an interesting thing about hoodia. Mm -hmm. Who Scientists know that that in Africa, in these desert climates where there isn't a lot of food, chewing that hoodia leaf suppresses your appetite. Mm -hmm. They know it. it it's a fact. It, mm -hmm. Hoodia suppresses appetite. But they tried to put hoodia into pills and capsules. Mm -hmm. Didn't work. Didn't mm -hmm. work at all. Because it never got into your bloodstream. Hoodia is one of those things that the liver will not let into your bloodstream. Mm hmm it just blocks it. But with the transdermal patch, we're able to get hoodia into your bloodstream. So this patch not only helps you burn body fat, but it takes the edge off your appetite. We didn't make it too strong. We don't want we don't want to kill somebody's appetite. We don't think that's healthy. But it takes the edge off. But if somebody so, did want it to kill their appetite, the only thing they'd have to do is wear about two or three patches instead of just one, right? Well, again, we, we don't recommend that, but... 
uh, you certainly you could do it. But you know, we we we, and that's another thing about this patch. This patch is not formulated for you to lose a lot of weight the first first month. We don't think that's healthy. Well. And it's also very hard to maintain uh, weight loss when when it when it comes quickly. This is a slow, steady, consistent weight loss. Uh, uh, and the hootier is in there with uh, 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 just to take the edge off your appetite. Mm, the reason, but, uh, yeah, the reason I'm looking at this is because a lot of people out there are doing intermediate fasting, the paleo diet, etc. And one of the biggest reasons they can never accomplish it is because they get hungry. They can't stick to it, mm -hmm. you know. So I'm looking more at the weight loss patch, in particular this hoodie. Instead of having to go through the digestive tract and also for the liver, it goes directly into the skin, which helps suppresses the appetite, giving you the willpower to be able to successfully complete that particular program. Right now, we also we we also uh, uh, we, you know losing weight is also a lifestyle decision. Uh, mm -hmm. You it know, is. you've you've got to stick with it. I mm -hmm. mean, uh, uh, the, as good as our patch is, if somebody's going to sit on a couch and drink milkshakes every night, uh, you know, they're going to have a, a you know a tough road to hoe. Uh, but there's a real lifestyle uh, uh, decision that somebody has to make, and this patch this patch will help you get there. And the seven keto DHEA in mm -hmm. the patch. Mm -hmm. which is a naturally occurring metabolite of DHEA, not only will help them lose weight, but it will help keep, it inhibits the storage of new body fat. Mm -hmm. Makes mm -hmm. it tougher for you to store new body fat, which is, uh, uh, so the, the patch has a just tremendous science behind it. It works. I and mean, we get literally thousands of emails and phone calls uh, every week about this patch, how pleased people are. So, in other and, words, uh, Steve, uh, what you're seeing is, is that once a person gets off their diet, whatever that may be, that patch will help them to keep it from coming back. Because a lot of people, they, that, you know? Yep. Yeah. It's a lot of people, when they get off a diet or something like that, they'll automatically, they'll go back to eating normal or whatever they did, and their weight just comes back. But as long as they got that patch on them, that's going to keep that new fat from coming back, so they'll still be looking good. That's why. That's why we say it's it, it, it's also a lifestyle decision mm -hmm. somebody has to make. Mm -hmm. No question. Mm -hmm. So you know, age for us. You did say that you get a people get discounts and stuff on there if they get on your email. I'm sorry. Say again, uh, more. They get like a bogo or a discount for uh, go going on your no, website. No. What, what? What? If somebody goes to the website, uh, you know, because they want to, you know, check out our, our uh, company, and there's a lot of information about our company and transdermal uh, delivery. Uh, we put a, a ton of information up there. Mm -hmm. uh, and if they sign up for the newsletter, on every page there's a little newsletter sign up. If you sign up for our newsletter, and again, the sign up's easy. We just ask for a first name and your email address. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll get back a email, an automatic email comes back to you once you sign up with a promo code for a 40% discount on your first order. Wow, okay, that's cool. So, anybody that signs up, uh, comes to the website, signs up for a newsletter, they'll get back an email from us with a uh, promo code, which will give them a 40% discount on their first order to try, you know, give one of our uh, patches a uh, test ride. Super. Now we got the non-tropic memory enhancer. What is that? Say again? The non-tropic memory enhancer patch I'm not following you oh okay. they got the it's called new uh, excuse me it's nootropic the memory enhancer oh patch? the nootropic patch yeah. uh -huh. okay yep yep yeah the nootropic this is this is a very interesting patch it's about two months old and it is uh, we can't believe how it's selling mm -hmm. well we can't believe how it's selling this is a patch that uh uh it is uh, nootropics, which are a category of, uh, of nutrients, mm -hmm. uh, promote improvement in cognition. Mm -hmm. In other words, they stimulate uh, they uh, they stimulate uh, your brain uh, so that you, uh, you know, the, the people can relate to this. You ever experience short uh, long term memory mm -hmm, issues? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, uh, studying for a big exam, mm -hmm. uh, you got to make an important uh, presentation. You ever walk in a room and forgot what you walked into the room for? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, you know, on and on. This is a patch that sharpens cog cognitive function. It sharpens your memory, long term, short term. 
it, uh, it, it, uh, uh, it, 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 it feels like when you, you take a cup of coffee in the morning, how, how sharp you feel. Mm -hmm. uh, here's a patch with, uh, with uh, six different things in it, and they're all designed to uh, hmm. help improve memory, short and long-term memory, um, and uh, uh, mental acuity. Uh, terrific, terrific patch, and it works. Okay, uh, for college students or just regular students out there, um, it's a 30-day supply, it's something that they can use um, right before going to school in order to enhance their concentration, memory, et cetera, right? Exactly right. It's All a 30-patch, right. 30, 30, 30 you just, uh, again, put the patch on uh, at night, go to sleep, wake up in the morning, or put it on in the morning, whatever, you know, lifestyle you want. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, this patch really, really sharpens everything. All right, this is the question, though, especially with the nootropic patch. Is it better to use it before you go to school, or is it better to use it at night? Uh, really, it doesn't make a whole lot of difference. Okay, gotcha. All not, right. not too much of a difference. All right, so it's once you get it in your system, it'll carry on for 24 hours. Exactly, yeah. That, 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 those nutrients are in your system, and they stay there, and, and they're working until you're putting on that next patch. Okay, so is there anything that you, once you get off of them, all of a sudden you get a big drop in memory? No, you're just basically, uh, uh, just basically going to drift back to uh, where you were before you were using them. Okay, all right, so a lot of these people out there who may have DHD or, uh, or um, attention deficit, deficit disorder or anything like that, that could be uh, certainly be beneficial in some way. They could be candid, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, all right. What uh, Going on to the next one, a full-spectrum vitamin E, what's that used for? Okay. Vitamin E is, uh, and now here is, uh, is a very interesting patch. For years, we've been hearing how great vitamin E is, okay? And... Uh, uh, I'm, the, I'm getting a little technical here, but the uh, tocopherols, they're, they're, uh, vitamin E typically has been uh, the alpha tocopherol vitamin E supplement. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, there are four subsets, but look, I don't want to get too complicated. But the vitamin E supplements that are in the stores, uh, the capsules, uh, what have you, are... Uh, what we call alpha tocopherol uh, vitamin E. Okay, science and the la research uh, studies in the last uh, uh, four or five or six years are all showing that the health and fitness benefits of uh, to uh, alpha toco to tocopherol vitamin E mm -hmm. are minimum, minimum, almost non-existent. Mm -hmm. Okay, the real benefits from vitamin E comes from tocotrienols, okay? That's what we call the advanced E's, mm -hmm. and there are four different ones. There's alpha, beta, gamma, and delta tocotrienols, mm -hmm. okay? We've uh, uh, developed a patch. It's the first patch in the world that not only has the four subsets of tocopherols, but it also has the four advanced E's, the, the alpha, beta, gamma, and delta tocotrienols. Okay, so how okay. that... Those are the ones that develop and really give you the benefit. So how okay. that going to help... Uh, vitamin E. And vitamin E benefits, uh, whether it be uh, 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 cholesterol benefits, mm -hmm. uh, 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 protecting your brain, pr mm -hmm. protecting skin from aging, mm -hmm. including bone, bone strength, plasma levels, mm -hmm. these are all benefits that come from the advanced tocotrienols, and mm -hmm. that's what's in this patch. As an athlete, uh, so how's it, how's it going to help me? Say again? As an athlete, how does it help, help athletes? Uh, improve uh, bone density. Well, that's important. Mm. Uh, and... Um, Anti age, mm -hmm. tremendous anti aging uh, benefits. It has anti aging benefits on your brain. Um, uh, it'll help uh, uh, oxidative damage that uh, uh, can lead to heart disease and other health issues. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, but relative to uh, relative to actual fitness, uh, 
uh, it, 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 it's, it's helping your fitness by helping your health. Got you. Helping your fitness by helping the health. Okay, we got about 10 minutes left. Let's go to vitamin B complex. Okay, here's here's a real interesting one. Uh, it is uh, there's a reason that doctors give vitamin B injections. Mm-hmm. Okay, they give vitamin B injections because it is almost impossible to get B complex vitamins into your bloodstream. What about supplemental? When you take them orally, uh, the patch delivers or patch a B complex patch delivers the B vitamins directly into your bloodstream uh, and uh, t- take uh, and there's one other kicker to this patch that's real important mm-hmm. uh, B6 B9 and B12 have very common forms that are very inexpensive when you, when you buy a B complex uh, uh, supplement they're using inexpensive forms of B6 B9 and B12 we use the most expensive and advanced formats of uh, B6, where you, it's called P5P, uh, B9, uh, folic acid, and B12, we're using hydroxycobalamin. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, those are the expensive and, and better functioning forms of those vitamins. But mm-hmm. most important, we're getting them into your bloodstream, which you can't do with oral uh, uh, B complex uh, uh, supplements. All right, Steve, what about so, subliminal bold ones that you put up under your tongue and it's supposed to go in through the blood vessel up under there? No, no, no. It, 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 it's not not a whole lot happening. No. Okay. No. Just want to make sure it's, it's, not, it's not an efficient way. You know, the receptor sites in your mouth just uh, just don't. Uh, 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 it's just not. It's. Uh, I, we hate to knock. Uh, we'd rather talk about all, how good our stuff is as opposed to knocking other stuff. But uh, no, I just want to know about complex, delivery. Subliminal yeah. decomplex. Just yeah, not yeah. Well, people, very efficient yeah. way to get it. People's going to ask that question, so I'm here just to ask the questions that they will want to okay. ask. <laughs> That's some all. Bling, some bling is not a, a good way to uh, get uh, B complex vitamins. The only okay. way to get B complex vitamins, really get B complex vitamins, by injection or by a transdermal patch delivery. That's super. What does vitamin B do uh, actually do in the body as far as when we eat food and whatever? Uh, it helps support the uh, brain. Uh, function and nervous system functions. Uh, it might reduce uh, jury still out uh, uh, attention deficit disorder, it might reduce uh, symptoms. It helps you maintain healthy skin, hair, muscle tone, mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. strengthens your immune system functions. Mm-hmm. Uh, it helps uh, stimulate, the, uh, it not stimulate, helps support the proper metabolism mm-hmm. uh, in our cells, uh, DNA synthesis and regulation. Uh, uh, stimulate your body's uh, Th1 suppressor T cells mm-hmm. uh, and uh, uh, a whole host of other things. <coughs> okay. B complex vitamins are terrific, and but again, you you got to get them into your bloodstream to work, and that's why the patch is so effective. Okay, that's super. Let's go on to the next one: amino acid complex. Okay, amino acids. Uh, you know, here uh, uh, athletes uh, know about amino acids. Uh, you know, it's protein. It's the uh, building blocks of muscle. And uh, uh, here again, uh, you know, mixing those powdered drinks and uh, and guzzling those powdered drinks and getting your aminos uh, uh, as best you can orally. But you know, today, tremendous amount of athletes are we we call uh, microdosing mm-hmm. amino acids, small amounts of uh, the different amino acids, two, three milligrams, either by injection or by patch, uh, mm-hmm. uh, be, because it's just it's such a swallowing amino acid supplements, whether it be in uh, capsules or, or, or mixed drinks or what have you, is a pretty inefficient way to get them. Uh, where uh, the uh, the patch uh, delivers the amino aminos directly to the bloodstream over eight hours. Uh, it's just a terrific way to get your aminos. Okay, so um, I'm taking amino. I'm on the paleo diet or uh, some th- right. the warrior's diet or something. So I stick on those aminos in order that my body is uh, constantly uh, building muscle or repairing muscle. Or just making sure that my muscle is not disappearing while I'm actually right. going through this, right? Correct. Yeah, so instead of having to go through the liver or having to go through the digestive system, which they try to keep away, uh, keep away from because they believe in fasted states, 
uh, they'll keep their protein by just simply putting it on the skin in order way that you'll be able to get even more results um, than you would uh, if you just did nothing at all. So that's a reason why that a person would take the amino complex. All right, the time is now. Right, and a lot of people have some digestive issues with amino acids. Yes, they do. Not, not, not a lot, you know, I don't know what the percentage is, but some, you got, got quite a few people that uh, have some digestive issues taking aminos uh, orally. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, what's this thing about vitamin D and vitamin K? Okay, vitamin D and vitamin K. We've combined... Uh, D and K together. Uh, vitamin D is the main event, but we fortify it with vitamin K. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, very, very difficult to get vitamin D uh, through diet. Okay, mm -hmm. you can Some, you know, some foods have D, but it's difficult to get it. Most people get their vitamin D levels through sun. You mm -hmm. know, exposure mm -hmm. outside in the sunlight. Mm -hmm. Okay, but we know we know that uh, you know today uh, you know uh, doctors uh, you know tell you how dangerous because of UV and what have you uh, and the risk of skin cancers uh, you know uh, exposure to sunlight are so uh, uh, and it's again almost impossible to get enough that vitamin D through your diet. Yeah, my so producer with the patch <laughs> with the patch uh, we're delivering vitamin D directly to your bloodstream. And we have uh, very interesting uh, uh, instructions for that patch mm -hmm. uh, because uh, uh, different people have different requirements for vitamin D depending on, uh, on depending on where you live and what have you. In the four winter months, we're only recommending two to three patches a week. Mm -hmm. uh, no, excuse me, we are recommending two to three patches weekly in the four winter months when you don't have a lot of you're not exposed to a lot of sunlight. Mm -hmm. In the spring mm -hmm. summer mat in the spring summer months when you get an adequate sun exposure, we recommend one patch a week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you have low but if you have a blood test that confirms that you have low D levels, uh, uh, we we step that up to one patch every uh, three or four days. Okay, that's super. Okay, we're just about out of time with just three minutes left on the clock. Uh, is there any special patch or anything that you really would like to talk about? Steve, that you really think um, this should be bought up? Uh, let's take a look here. Let's see. One of we, we haven't uh, haven't uh, you know we we we've got multivitamin patches. Uh, we've got here an interesting patch that we have. You know, people are, are taking these energy drinks. Mm -hmm. Ten hour uh, patch, eight hour energy uh, drinks, uh -huh. what have you, which are great. But you know, we we have a different approach to energy. Number one, our patch will deliver energy over 10 hours without a spike it's a slow it's it's a modest elevation of energy mm -hmm, mm -hmm. won't it it's not has nothing to do with caffeine it won't make you hyper or jittery it just uh, just simply elevates your energy in, in a number of different ways and it's only uh, but in safe ways mm -hmm. uh, uh, I'm trying to think. Another very, very popular patch, Malik, is our DHEA patch. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, we, 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 we take DHEA, we combine it with pregnenolone, and one and one is four, not two. Uh, a tremendous synergy. Uh, and uh, DHEA uh, uh, is, is uh, it's just a proven uh, a nutrient to uh, increase muscle strength, energy, and endurance. Uh, it, it will increase libido, improves memory, bone density, uh, a host of issues, uh, uh, DHEA, and right. the pregnenolone amplifies it. So we probably want to stack that with the HGH, right? Uh, yeah, you know, uh, HGH, testosterone, and DHEA are great, great stacking uh, combinations, absolutely. And those are the three spots. You know, okay, with one minute left on the clock, I really appreciate you having your time to be able to explain to us exactly what uh, transdermal um, infusion of dietary supplements is, Steve, and also breaking down exactly about which each of the formulations do um, as far as supplements, giving up people out there uh, education on that. Anything you'd like to add before we leave? No, just uh, we're a serious company with serious products and. Uh uh, taking uh, supplements uh, transdermally is uh, that's 21st century science. Yes, it uh, is. And uh, uh, love people come visit our website, sign up for the newsletter, get a 40% discount, 
uh, on your first order, and uh, I think they'll just be uh, thrilled with uh, uh, the performance of our products. We're serious people with uh, uh, real serious products that uh, that uh, reflect today's uh, today's science. Yeah, that works, and um, that is Age of Steve with Age Force. Um, on Hillforce.com. Hforce.com. Uh, give him a call. Check his website out. Everything's legit. Everything um, works. Uh, my name is Malik L. Train, host of Health Awareness Talk. Uh, thank you, Steve, for uh, coming today. Thanks for having me, Malik. Take care, buddy. <laughs> you too, sir. And everyone out there, have a wonderful <laughs> night.